friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in my WW Instant Pot series. These two recipes are incredible. They are both chicken recipes, so the protein is zero points, so we're able to incorporate some other deliciousness and keep the points relatively low. So if you wanna see the two chicken Instant Pot recipes that I have in store for you in this episode of the WW Instant Pot series, all you have to do is stay tuned. For tonight's Instant Pot dinner, we are going to have Instant Pot broccoli and cheddar pasta sounds amazing and I'm gonna pair that with some garlic parm chicken so for the chicken of course you're going to need some boneless skinless chicken breast and then I'm gonna be using this great value garlic parmesan mix so I'm just going to season my chicken in that and go ahead and just pan fry it to make it easy and then for the broccoli cheddar pasta you're going to need whatever pasta you want to use of course I'm using the fiber gourmet my favorite in the world this is the let light penne pasta you can have two ounces for only three smart points that is two ounces dry I get that question a lot so always measure your pasta dry otherwise you'll think what the heck am I I'm not getting squat for three smart points so definitely measure it try you can order this pasta off of Nutrition's website down in the description box is a direct link to their website click on that it'll take you right to where you need to be search fiber gourmet and voila you will see there are several options of pasta. So tonight I just chose the penne. This is half the calories, half the points of regular pasta. You can't beat it. So definitely check out Fiber Gourmet. We need some milk, so I'm gonna use what I have left here of my Fair Life fat-free milk. I found baby broccoli, which I was really excited about. So this is the broccoli that we're going to use. And then I'm gonna do a mix of the Trader Joe's light Mexican blend cheese and fat-free cheese just to kind of cut down on the points. And then we're gonna need some water as well. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So I went ahead and cut my chicken up, removed all of the fat into bite-sized pieces. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this great value garlic Parmesan wing mix to my chicken. And then I'm just going to give my bag of chicken a quick shake up get that mix all incorporated with my chicken you guys this smells so delicious so there you have it that is the mix with the chicken we'll get this all mixed up and get this into a frying pan and then we'll get our instant pot ready to go it is a quick cook dinner which is awesome so the first thing we need to do with our instant pot is go ahead and add in your water now i am halving the recipe so I did two cups of water, and then next we're gonna enter our half a pound or eight ounces of our penne pasta. So you wanna put that into the bottom, make sure that it's spread out pretty evenly, and then you're going to take your Instant Pot steamer basket, and you're going to place that over the top of your pasta, and to that we're gonna go ahead and add in our baby broccoli florets. Now the original recipe called for one cup I'm still going to put about a cup of broccoli because a little extra broccoli didn't hurt anybody and it'll add that nice extra veggie to our pasta. And this baby broccoli is perfect for this recipe. I'm definitely, definitely gonna be buying this again. This is pretty cool. So you're gonna go ahead and add that. Then you're gonna pop your lid on and you are gonna come down to your Instant Pot here and set it on manual for a whole whopping four minutes. Make sure that it is on high pressure and you just want to set it for four minutes and after four minutes we'll remove the lid and add in our milk and our cheese our chicken is looking delicious it smells you guys amazing with that garlic and parm so i have it on a pretty high heat i want to get it cooked through and i want to get some of this nice little brown brown bits on all of my chicken so i'm just going to let this cook while our pasta is cooking all right guys the chicken is done look at that yum so I went ahead and turned it down to low while the pasta continues to cook. And then I'll be back to show you the completed pasta. We're gonna add in our milk and our cheese. And I think I'm gonna top my pasta with the chicken. So I'm really excited. So I just popped the lid. Ooh, we're steamy already, guys. Off the top of my Instant Pot. Look at my broccoli is perfectly cooked. Then we're gonna go ahead and remove our steamer basket. 
out of our other basket. And under that is my perfectly cooked pasta. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my broccoli in with my pasta. And then we will go ahead and add in, oh lordy, there we go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in our broccoli, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in the rest of our ingredients. So first we're going to start with one half of a cup of our Fair Life Milk, and then we're also going to add in four ounces of Trader Joe's Light Shredded Cheese, four ounces of fat-free cheese. We're gonna add all of that in. And then I decided that I wanted kind of to go with the theme of the garlic parm chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of this Kinder's buttery steakhouse seasoning. One of my wonderful subscribers sent this to me, it's delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add in just a little bit of that. And then we're gonna wanna go ahead and give this a nice big stir. Look at how delicious that looks. So once you add everything in, you're gonna go back down here to your Instant Pot. Go ahead and put it on saute, and then you're gonna allow it to get nice and hot, and you're just going to stir until your cheese is all melted and everything is fully incorporated together. You guys, this looks absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up, and I'll give you the smart points. So here is tonight's completed dinner. Look at how amazing this looks. So what I did is I divided my pasta into six equal servings. One sixth is only five smart points. If you wanted to have a bigger helping, you could divide it into four servings and it would be seven smart points per serving. But I think one sixth is plenty along with one chicken breast here. Look at this pasta, you guys. It is creamy, cheesy. You've got your veggie with the broccoli. You can't go wrong. So this entire dinner is only five smart points because the chicken is zero. So this is a total of five smart points for broccoli cheddar pasta with chicken. For tonight's Instant Pot dinner, I'm going to be making garlic chicken, and I'm gonna pair that with a side of rice and some veggies. I cannot wait for this recipe. It sounds to die for. So here's what's in our garlic chicken. So first you're going to need some chicken broth or chicken stock. You'll either need fresh garlic or minced garlic, whatever your preference is. I'm gonna be using some pink sea salt and I'm gonna be using Dax seasoning in lieu of Mrs. Dash. I love Dax, it's amazing. All of these seasonings have zero salt. They're all natural, no MSG. Everything in these seasonings is real, whole ingredients. And with weigh-in day tomorrow, I'm gonna to lower down my salt content for today. So I'm gonna do a little mix of the Dax Steakhouse seasoning. Let me see if I can show you guys what's in it. So. In this particular seasoning, there is spices, mustard, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion. That's it. So like I said, the spices are all natural. I'm also going to be using the Dax Green Zest. As you know, this is my all-time favorite Dax seasoning. I love it. And this one has spices, dehydrated onion, garlic, lemon peel, some anti-caking agent. That's it. Again, you guys, all natural. So you can order Dax directly off of their website. Click the link down in the description box, enter my code here on the screen and you'll get 10% off and free shipping. There are so many fabulous seasonings. I love them all, but I'd have to say green zest is probably my favorite. So I'm gonna be incorporating two Dax seasonings into this recipe. And then of course, we're going to need some chicken breasts. For rice, my husband asked specifically for the cheddar broccoli rice. I know this is a little bit high in points, but the rest of my dinner is zero. So I'm able to add this into my dinner for tonight, which is what I love about WW. You can really focus on the zero point foods and then have the indulgent, have the side dish that you really wanna have. So we're gonna have this cheddar broccoli rice. And then for a side, we're gonna use the rest of these baby broccoli florets from the last Instant Pot recipe. So let's get going on our garlic chicken. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and put your chicken breasts in to your Instant Pot. We're gonna go ahead and season them with our two Dax seasoning. So I'm gonna add a little bit of my steakhouse, yum. And I'm gonna add a little bit of my green zest. And then I'm going to flip my chicken breasts and I'm going to season the other side of them as well. And then I will just add just a tiny bit of the pink sea salt. And then once they get seasoned, you're gonna go ahead and add in your garlic. So let me season up the other side and we'll add our garlic. 
Once you get your chicken all nice and seasoned, we're gonna go ahead and add our garlic. So I'm just going to put it on top of each of my chicken breasts and then just kind of spread it out evenly over my breasts of chicken. This looks so incredibly delicious. And then the last thing that we have to do is add in our chicken stock. So the recipe calls for about three cups. So I did already use some out of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the remainder of my chicken stock. The main idea is to make sure your chicken breasts are fully submersed in the water. That's going to help them absorb all those flavors and make them nice and tender. Once you get your lid on your Instant Pot, we're gonna go down here to manual. And for fresh chicken, unthawed, we're gonna do 10 minutes. For frozen, you wanna bump it up to 12. It's on high and we are gonna let this cook down for 10 minutes. For the rice, we're gonna go ahead and get two cups of water to a boil. The package direction wants you to add margarine. I never do, can't even tell the difference. And you can save on the points that way. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our cheddar broccoli rice mix directly to our pan. And we're gonna give this a good stir. And we're gonna allow this to come to a boil. And then we'll get it covered and it'll allow it to steam and cook. Comes out really good. I know this probably isn't the best thing in the world for you, but again, my husband asked for it. Everything else in our meal is nice and healthy, so we're gonna indulge a little bit tonight. Our chicken is done. It smells so good. Look at that, yum. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a chicken breast served up with the rest of my dinner, plate it up, and I'll give you all of the smart points. So here is my completed dinner for tonight, our garlic chicken. You guys, this smells amazing. I cannot wait to dig in. So I'm gonna have one breast of my garlic chicken. Here I have just a little bit of the G Hughes hickory flavored barbecue sauce. That is zero smart points. I'm just gonna dip my chicken in that. I have a serving of my baby broccoli with some spray butter, salt, and pepper for zero. And then I have one half of a cup of the rice. One half of a cup is seven smart points. So really high, but my whole dinner is only seven smart points because the only thing that we have to count points for is the rice. I highly recommend this garlic chicken recipe. It was so easy in the Instant Pot and you can't beat a flavorful zero point dinner. Thank you for joining me on another episode in my WW Instant Pot series. I hope you enjoyed the two recipes that I shared with you. They are so good. You guys have to make both of them. You will not be disappointed. They're absolutely delicious. If you're new to my channel, this is an ongoing series. I have air fryer series, comfort food, 30 minute meals, and a barbecue series, as well as an array of other recipes and fun WW content. So make sure if you're new that you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so YouTube will notify you every time I upload. That way you don't miss a single video. I'd love it if you thumbs up this one, comment down below, let me know what of these two recipes are you most excited to try? Maybe it's both of them. And let me know what you think of the Instant Pot series. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.